Hey guys, welcome back to this Flutter app development series where we are creating that wallpaper app which no one wants. So in the last video, we added a page view and bottom navigation bar to our app. And we also wrote some code to keep both of these widgets in sync. In this video, I'll be focusing on the first page, the all images page. On this page, I want to display all the wallpapers from Firebase. Right now, all images is a stateless class. But in future, we might want to change the state of this page depending on some user actions. So I'll convert this class to a stateful widget. For that, I'll create a new class and name it as all images. I'll just cut this container from old images class because we need that. And now we can delete the old class and paste the copied container in the build method of all images state. And just to see some change in the app, I'll make some modifications to the text and save this code. You can see that the string in app updates, which means the switch from stateless to stateful widget is working properly. Now that this is working, let's see how we can fetch wallpapers from Firestore and display them in our app. For this, we'll need to use the Cloud Firestore package. I have already created a detailed video on this topic, so if you want, you can check that out link will be in the description so to use this package i'll go to the installing tab and copy this line then i'll go back to the app and paste it under the dependencies section of pubspec yaml and now when i save this file flutter pub get command will automatically run if you are using android studio you will have to run this manually once pub get completes you can close this file now let's start writing code to get wallpapers from Firebase. For that, I'll remove this container. And in its place, I'll add a stream builder widget. You can use stream builder to listen to a stream of data and build widgets out of it. So here, I'll set the stream property as firestore.instance. You'll need to import cloudfirestore.dart for this. On this instance, I'll call collection method. This method needs a path parameter to let it know which collection we want. As I have added all the images under a collection called wallpapers, I'll pass wallpaper string here. And on this collection, I'll call the snapshots method so that the stream builder will keep on reading snapshots of data from this collection. For the builder, we need a function with these parameters. I'll just copy this and then I'll create a function with these copied parameters. First one will be context and second one will be snapshot. From this function, I'll return a list view using the builder constructor. For the item count of this list, I'll use snapshot.data.documents.length. This will limit the list to number of wallpapers we have in Firestore. Next, for the builder, I'll again copy the parameter list and create a function using copied parameters. From this builder, I'll return a list style with its title property as a text widget. Now, just to see if we are getting correct data, I'll display the URL string for each wallpaper in this text widget. For that, I'll get the current document using snapshot.data.document.elementatindex and then I'll get the value of URL like this. Let's format this code a little. Now, we have a problem in this code. It is very possible that we will not get any data in the snapshot. And in that case, our code will break. So to have some safety, I'll add an if check here. In this check, I'll make sure that snapshot has data. And if there is no data in snapshot, we can implement the else part to return a circular progress indicator. Now, let's check if all this is working. I'll not use hot reload for this as we have made quite a lot of changes and we have also added some new package. So it is better to stop and relaunch this debugger. And I think it is now ready to launch. Ok, so if now I go to all images page, we can see the circular progress indicator for few seconds. Once the stream starts receiving data from Firestore, the list of URLs will get displayed. Now that we have a list of all the URLs, we can display those images here. For that, I'll cut the code for getting URLs and then replace the text widget with an image widget. Since I want to load images using URLs, I'll use the network constructor of image widget. I'll paste the copied code as the source of this network image. And now if I save this code, we should be able to see the images. 
and yes we are indeed getting all the images here now i want to show multiple images in each row and for that i'll just have to replace this list view with grid view i also have a video dedicated to grid view and grid view builder so if you want you can watch that first anyways now we are getting an error here this is because grid view needs a grid delegate to fix this i'll add a sliver grid delegate with fixed cross axis count and i'll set the cross axis count for this delegate as 3 If I save this code, we will see that images are displayed in a grid format with three images in a row. Right now, these images are too small and are of uneven sizes. The spacing issue is mostly because we are returning a list style from this builder. If I replace it with grid style and replace title with child, this should be fixed. And as you can see, now the images are touching each other. Now to make all the images of same size. I'll use the fit property of image widget. Let's set it to box fit dot cover so that each image will fully cover its grid area. So now all the images are of same size, but they look squeezed together. To have some spacing in between them, I'll wrap each grid tile with a padding widget. The default value of eight is too big, so I'll change it to one. And now this looks much better. If I try to scroll down you'll notice that it takes some time for the images to load which might be fine but if I start scrolling up now the images that were already loaded are also taking same amount of time to load this is happening because image widget is trying to load images from URL every time it needs to display them now this is a problem Anyone will get definitely annoyed when they'll have to wait for the wallpaper to load while they are going back and forth between the pages. To solve this, we'll have to cache each wallpaper when it gets loaded for the first time, so that we can use the cached copy of this image when needed. To make our lives easier, someone has already published a package for this, called the cached network image. This package basically provides widget which can display an image and internally cache it. So I'll quickly copy the dependency from installing tab of this package and add to pubspec.yml of our Flutter project. Let's save this and let the pub get command pull this package. Once this is complete, let's close the file and go back to grid view where we were using the image widget. I'll first copy this line and then I'll remove this widget. Now I'll use the cached network image widget here. This widget needs an image URL property. Here I'll paste the line that I had copied. Let's add some commas and format this file. To see these changes, I'll again stop and relaunch the debugger because we have added a new package and it is up and running again. Now if I switch to the all images page, you can see that wallpapers are still getting displayed. The only problem is they have again gone back to being of different sizes. To fix this, I'll again add fit property to this new cached network image widget. And now everything is as it was before adding cache network image. The only difference is now wallpapers are not getting loaded every time from network. You can still see that the images take some time to show up, but rest assured that these images are not getting downloaded again and again. It's just that images take some time to load from cache, especially in this case where we are requesting multiple images to load at once and size of each image is almost 2 MB. but you can tell that the time taken for loading has reduced significantly for now this is good enough but maybe in future i'll make some more changes to make sure that we load high resolution images only when needed and for such lists where only a thumbnail of original image is sufficient we can load low resolution images which will be much smaller in size anyways that was it for this video We have now successfully added the functionality to display all the wallpapers in a grid view. Right now, users cannot view them in full screen, but we will be adding that soon enough. So, if you like this video, hit that like button and do consider subscribing for more such content. I hope to see you in the next one.